Sad to say, but this is our final segment in Dallas, Texas. So let's go out with an inspiring story. In an industrial area in the suburb of Mesquite, I found a small family business making big dreams come true. Mauricia Perez, alongside her two daughters and her mother, is living out her dream of hand making all natural products that feel as good on your skin as they are for you. When we arrived, Mauricia had her hands deep in a bowl of bath bomb ingredients, which dry quickly. So she told us about the process as she worked. So basically this is a, a, a simple bath bomb and I just, it's so easy. I just fill it in this little mold and then I transfer it over and then I let them dry. Okay, so these are uh, solid bubble baths. So they're called our bubble rolls. And um, you just get it, you take a piece off and what they do is they put it under running water and it creates like a ton of bubbles. And so this will actually um, do four bubble baths. And kids like them. They like to cut them, mix them, do all kinds of stuff with them, but the uh -huh. massive amount of bubbles is crazy. Uh -huh. And so that, that's our bubble, bubble rolls. And these are just some soaps that I have curing. Uh, there's not enough room on the shelf for them, but they're just different. This is our... Um, what, what is the scent? This is actually just coffee. Oh, it's yeah, it smells nice. Yeah, and it's, you know, I always tell people this is great for like maturing skin. Um, it rejuvenates, just like what coffee does. Uh -huh. It's an outer layer, layer. Um, and then our green bar, this one is um, an aloe vera bar mm -hmm. that we um, combine aloe vera. As much as your shirt. <laughs> and uh, oatmeal. So that's so, so you do sort of these all natural ingredients. Yes. So I always tell everybody you can eat it and not die. Ooh, because somebody actually did it. Oh, really? <laughs> so I had actually the coffee oh, did, bar. Did it taste very good? I, she I mean, went back for another piece. That oh, was funny. <laughs> so um, the very first retailer that picked up my product was um, giving out samples of the coffee bar, and they uh -huh. cut it up into little squares. Um, somebody so thought somebody it was somebody thought a... it was like a brownie or something. <laughs> what kind of looks like one? <laughs> yes, and... Um, I guess the way they displayed it, so she went back and she got another piece and put it in her mouth and the receptionist said, no, that's soap. And she went, eh. like, <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's a tribute to show that it really, it's made with all natural, it's made with oil, you know, and, yes. and you can eat it and you won't die. So that's how it's kind of in my little tagline, like, you can eat it and you won't die. <laughs> so. Well, but you got started with this because your daughter was allergic to so many things. Is that right? Yes. That was Julia. She was um, always sick all the time and um, I couldn't figure out. And so one day the doctor just said, hey, we're going to test her for uh, do an allergy test just to see if maybe that's the case. And sure enough, it came back. She was allergic to everything, but the majority was perfumes and uh, cleaning products. Mm. And so back then I was using like pine salt and, you know, you name it, I was using it. If it smelled good, I was going to use it. Uh -huh. And um, I cut back on that. And that's what made me start making the soap and start making the detergent. And like I said, I just did it, you know, out of a need for my, you know, and I think that was a good thing. It's because I really wanted it to be as clean of a product as it could be, because it's my daughter. And that's how I started learning about it. And um, I mean, it's the lather was beautiful, and it didn't smell because we didn't put I didn't put any fragrance in it. Mm -hmm. um, so you started out of necessity, and mm -hmm. now it has become something that you yes. can make a living yes. from. Yes. Yay. And so then, um, prior to all of that, I was um, 
working for Tony and Guy. And oh yes. Uh -huh. I, I already knew all their properties because I was teaching um, theory, which everybody hated theory. You know, they would fall asleep, but I loved it. I loved to know what everything you know did and, and stuff. So just smash all those things together and it came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that. You know. What about these with the, um, what is this, an herb or um, it's, leaves or flowers or something? It's rose. So these are um, just like bad bulbs. It's just a different shape. Okay. For, like um, you were just making? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then these are our steamers. This is probably my number one selling product. Um, it's aromatherapy for the shower. Um, but you put it on the floor, the hotter the water, the more steam, it's going to uh -huh. activate. So it has um, essential oil, and I make three of them. Lavender, eucalyptus, menthol, and lemongrass. Um, but at the same time, it's cleaning the floor, it's disinfecting your showers. I tell everybody, you're getting a twofer. <laughs> <laughs> so how would people be able to get to your products? You have a little retail space out in front, uh -huh. uh, but is it mostly online or are, are you selling to other stores and people would buy them there? So um, we do, in, locally, we're in about six stores in Texas and um, they can go to those retailers and they're on our website, you know, okay. and if they follow us on social media, they'll know. Um, but, you know, our website, we ship everywhere in the okay. U.S. For the and most part, that's it, like through social media, <laughs> you know, and they can find us through there or through the other um, retailers that we're in. Okay. So, well, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's kind of <laughs>